The bar considered the birthplace of the LGBTQ rights movement is at risk of closing. This as Pride Week kicks off with a different kind of celebration this year. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from the village. Residents are painting the city with LGBTQ pride, but no one will be taking to the streets Sunday, the 51st anniversary of the Stonewall riots. June 28, 1969, police raided the Stonewall Inn on Christopher Street because at the time, being gay was illegal. Patrons fought back, prompting riots and a wave of activism. This 81 year old, who goes by the name of Tree, was there. I went to jail many times just for being in a gay bar. Today, he's a bartender at the Stonewall Inn, struggling to survive due to being closed from the coronavirus since March. I lived through everything, wars, AIDS. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my 81 years. It recently opened for takeout drinks, which co-owners Kurt Kelly and Stacey Lentz say might help pay the electric bill, but they're behind four months of rent, around 40,000 bucks a month. After getting little financial assistance from the government, they set up a GoFundMe for their 30 employees who live off tips and another just for rent and to keep the lights on. It's not even about the money aspect for us. It's about watching the joy on people's faces because this is where it started. My philosophy or uh, my thought of what the Stonewall Inn means is strength in numbers. Every rock we put on that wall, we become stronger and stronger as a community. People from all over the world have donated money to help save the Stonewall Inn. The owners say that and when they can reopen for phase three will determine their future. Sunday, the national anthem will be sung outside and streamed online, part of a series of virtual events the organization NYC Pride is hosting. At 1 p.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, New Yorkers are encouraged to cheer out their windows. We want to see New York loud and proud, so take part in that cheer. And we may not be together in the streets, but we are still together in spirit. A fighting spirit that persevered through 1969, and advocates expect will persevere even through the virus. In Greenwich Village, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.